Hey there. Happy Monday. I hope you're having a great day so far. Welcome to our Monday hug. Thank you for being here with me. For those of you who are new and for all who are returning, I'm so glad you're here. I love spending Monday mornings with you. So what are we here to do? Every Monday, I come to you with some inspiration from our devotional, and we call it a hug. The weekly message is from this devotion here. So I bring them here, and I also share some of the products that you can use. If you're like me, you need constant reminders of what is valued in your life and number one and of the trust that you have in God and in God's grace and love for you. And so I surround myself with products from Knots of Grace as well as a number of other things that remind me of those things, the positive things in our, in our lives. It's kind of like having your phone and you have a picture of your husband or wife or your children on your phone, and every time you see it, you smile things like that. So they're just things to bring joy and remind you of the blessings that you have in your life. And that's what Knots of Grace is all about. Let me share with you today's product before I jump into the message. And I've shown you this product before if you've been with us, but it's one that I really love sharing. And the reason I love sharing it is because it's a versatile item. If you are a book reader and if you are a Christian, you likely have a Bible and probably have opened it up and had read it. So even if that is the only physical book that you read, you are a book reader. So we, this is a versatile product and it, it is something that can be used from as, as soon as you're able to start to read all the way until you have your glorious day with God beyond. And so it's just such a beautiful gift. And the other reason I love to share it is because it was here on one of my videos where the name of the product came. And so the name of this product is called Through God's Eyes. So if you can see here, I'm going to show you a reflection. And so the cool thing is if you're actually looking at it, you can see the reflection of your own eyes. And one day while I was here, I was showing this and it, I got caught up. You know, I got a little catch in my throat because I was just so inspired by the fact that God helped me make this and, and the Holy Spirit brought me this message through it saying that this is how God has seen you. And so what an awesome reminder that is every time you see this bookmark. So that's why I love to share this one with you. It is a bookmark rosary. It has a miraculous metal on it. It is this beautiful silvery, uh, mirrory cross and very, very durable. And it's just lovely. And it comes in a number of different bead um, options. So go check that out. Okay. Well, I have mine in my book today. So if you are reading along with me, turn to June 30th. And this week's theme is encouragement is contagious. The Bible verse is Proverbs 1530, and it says, bright eyes cheer the heart. Good news strengthens the bones. A woman's attitude is contagious. If she is optimistic and upbeat, her family will tend to feel similar emotions. But if a mother or sister or daughter falls prey to pessimism and doubt, the family suffers right along with her. Wise women like you understand the power of encouragement. Marie T. Freeman said, encouragement starts at home, but it should never end there. And Nicole Johnson observed, encouragement is to a friendship what confetti is to a party. So if you'd like to make your corner of the world a happier, healthier place, spread encouragement wherever you go. You'll be amazed at how fast it can spread. And this week's quote is from Loretta Gerzarenis. I'm sorry if I've mispronounced your name, Loretta. And she said, 
If someone listens or stretches out a hand or whispers a word of encouragement or attempts to understand a lonely person, extraordinary things begin to happen. So let me just tell you, I am so always utterly amazed when the Holy Spirit works for me, and I don't realize it until later that he's working. Because what was the first thing that we read here from Proverbs was bright eyes cheer the heart. Ah, through God's eyes. Okay, sorry. Sometimes you get that part, part of me of, of just pure awe and awesomeness. So there you go. On that note, take this, sit with God, listen, ask him, what do you want me to hear from this? Is there something I need to change? Is there something I'm doing great that I need to keep doing? What do you want me to hear from this message this week? And go and just spread enthusiasm like I know you do. All right, if you haven't joined our Inner Circle of Grace community, I welcome you to do that. All the information is below, including signing up for our email community, as well as signing up for our private Facebook group. And if you haven't liked this message or subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so. Let's get the word out. Let's get God's enthusiasm and his graces out to more people. And the more you like these messages, the more that YouTube realizes that people want to hear this and it gets it in front of them. So I hope you do that. And share it too if you have someone who you think needs this message. Until next week, have a beautiful week and I hope it's filled with enthusiasm and confetti. Gosh, that would be fun too. So I will see you again here next Monday. You take care. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us.